Head coach Rob Christie is delighted with the eight points the Southern Knights have accumulated from their first two games on the road and will welcome crowds back at the Green Yards tomorrow for the first time since restrictions were lifted. They play Ayrshire Bulls, who are expected to field one of Gregor Townsend's sons, Christian, in their lineup. A couple of changes coming back in this week. Uh, so Craig Jackson, who, who could have maybe made it last week, but he wasn't quite right, so he'll come back in and he'll obviously captain the side for our first home game, which is great for Craig, um, considering the layoff he's had. So he'll be raring to go. Patrick Anderson will get rotated through the squad and he'll start off the bench. Who, just a wee note on Patrick, he's been up outstanding and he's, he's played a lot of rugby in the last four weeks, so we need to preserve him as well a little bit. Scotland's most capped player, Ross Ford, is now coaching Southern Knights and he's made a big impact on the way the team is playing. Yeah, and Fordy's experience is, and, he, and his coaching ability is excellent. Lewis Carmichael's also doing a great job. You know, The pair of them bounce off each other really well. So We've got a really good lot of coaching group there now, um, and I, I think that's we're beginning to see it now take, take shape on the pitch as well, which is good. Last weekend at Peebles, it was invitation side Hearts and Balls who won round one of the Kings of the Sevens. But as they're not part of the circuit, it's Selkirk who topped the table after being beaten narrowly in the final. And head coach Scott White sees a real opportunity to continue their good start. This week, obviously, it's important that we back that up, but with showing probably plenty of positives last week, everybody will be keen to take us down a peg or two. So it's important the boys refocus and go to Hoyk with the right attitude and hopefully we get the result.